Hey guys, this is Punk T. Welcome to State of the Realm Beta Edition, Episode 1, Guilds. Uh, so we'll get started on the info tab of the guild system. Here you'll be able to find the guild leader, the number of members your guild can have, and it's two per level, except if you're in the new player guild, that'll give you infinite amount of members. Uh, it'll showcase your guild level, your XP, as, long as, as well as your XP per hour. Uh, the kills that you have for your guild, your deaths, kill death ratio, and how you're ranked between all the guilds on the server. And then also your treasury information, and you'll get treasury by doing various guild, guild activities. And then your uh, guild description, as well as your recruitment message. And then we have four separate tabs here. One is the recruitment tab. So if uh, a player looking for a guild uh, types in the command guilds, They'll come up with a guild UI which shows all the guilds that are currently uh, recruiting people. You'll be able to set your guild message, all that stuff is done through this main menu, uh, but you'll see what, what it shows there. And then you can actually request to join the guild, and then if there's somebody who's requesting to join, you can accept or deny them in this window here. Then you have the information panel. And that will allow you to edit your, your gear score required for the guild menu here. So if you have a gear score requirement, uh, you can showcase that there. And then the Discord link for your Discord channel, as well as uh, if you're actively recruiting or not recruiting members, you can click on this and it'll change uh, the availability to join through this UI here. And then if you go back to the other side, you have the options, these are just the general options, right? Inviting players, uh, resigning from the guild, toggling your title, uh, being able to attack or to have other guild members attack you in combat, uh, ignore other guild invites and XP messages here. So like if you kill a monster or whatever. Uh, and then you have the militia tab. And this is where you can join the militia. If you wanted to do that, you can join and it'll show you your points if you have any points from killing other people from other guilds in their militia and it'll show your title as well and you could uh, resign from this menu and the members tab you can there's a really easy ui you can search for members um, or you can go on this list click on them you know demote them promote them give them access to the, to the chat to the store uh, change the title all that good stuff uh, these are all the other guilds on the server. You'll have a list of them. Through these, you can uh, declare war, quest an alliance. If you declare war, you can actually do, you know, a war condition. So, you know, if you win this war, which is based on kills or time span, uh, you'll be able to get a portion of their treasury. And we'll be uh, defining these more and more later on as time goes on with the server. Uh, and then fortress, you'll be able to purchase plots for a fortress. So once you do that and you purchase a plot through the guild treasury, um, you'll be able to actually use the house placement tool to place the house somewhere. And that house will be owned by the guild and all guild members will already have access to it. And as you recruit new members, they'll get access or they'll revoke access if they leave the guild. So that's already handled. The armory tab is where you'll be able to purchase things like guild clothing, uh, guild war horses, all of that stuff. Uh, mostly going to be like war related. The guild store, on the other hand, is where you can purchase. Uh, you can unlock certain things. So you unlock this for the armory, right? The guild sash, so that you can buy it from the armory. Same thing goes with all the perks. Then we have a whole bunch of perks too, and you'll be able to unlock them from there. Uh, the missions tab allows you to send companions on different missions. And then that returns back guild treasury gold and XP for your guild. So it's very lucrative to do these over time. Guild quests, uh, you just do quests for your entire guild will be able to participate and your uh, guild will get rewarded for just doing the dailies and weeklies. Perks, uh, as you accumulate and buy perks, you'll be able to put them all in here. Uh, once you put them all in here, it's very powerful buffs for your guild. Uh, so really recommend doing these, especially skill gain rates. If you're looking to maximize how fast you can get your skill gain up, as well as increasing all the power for your guild as well. 
dungeons and towns, these go hand in hand. This will show you if your guild is capturing a town or has captured a town or dungeon, right? You can capture all different dungeons and you'll get uh, gold, XP, lumber, and ore for your guild treasury per hour that you have it captured. So it's very lucrative to own those. You'll also get bonuses for farming in the dungeon at that time. Also, when you control it, you also can view how many people are in there. So very lucrative to be able to actually see who's in there as well. And then last but not least, we have the logs. And you can go through various logs and see things like chat, right? You can see all the chat uh, that your guildmates have done, uh, any alliance tabs, loot, dungeons, you know, if you have, if you occupy Death Third or Ice, it'll show there. Um, if people join or leave the guild, uh, what your treasury was spent on, all that stuff. So yeah, that's an in-depth of the guild system.